I'm Tiffany Young with ID8 TV and I'm here with Paula Madison and we just got done through a panel and Paula just uh, briefly describe um, the subject of the panel and um, tell us about your book and the documentary. Sure well thank you for uh, asking. The panel was about the difference between uh, documentary and more advocacy filmmaking. Uh, so we talked largely about documentary filmmaking and then I talked about the documentary that I shot which is called Finding Samuel Lowe which was my uh, journey to find my Chinese grandfather's um, descendants in China. Uh, and I started searching uh, for them over the years, but finally got enough information so that in 2012, I located 300 of my grandfather's direct descendants in uh, Guangdong province in China, in Guangzhou and Shenzhen. And uh, since then, we've been one big happy family. I think uh, I really identified with you as a biracial person and with family that I know is out there somewhere and I'm sure a lot of biracial people can identify. Um, what kind of advice would you give to someone who knows that they have family out there and dreams about reuniting with family? Where, where would one start when there's things like language barriers and stuff that, things that you encountered? Well, I, can, I guess I can speak specifically to China. I can't talk about a number of other places, but um, I would recommend, first of all, that people start by going uh, to a free website called FamilySearch.org, which is run by the Mormons, um, because um, they have aggregated all of these databases from all around the world, uh, including they have quite a significant um, number of uh, Japu, the, the family legacy books of uh, Chinese families, many of which were destroyed during the Cultural Revolution. So what I'd recommend is you start there and then in China itself, all of the provinces and most of the very large cities have offices to help overseas Chinese and American-born ABCs um, to, to, if you go to China, they will work very hard to help you find your ancestral village and your family. Um, so there are a number of ways of doing it and over the years, I had different attempts and fits and starts about how to do it. And at times, it's easy to get discouraged. But remember that this information is being uploaded. It's being digitized on a daily basis. The Mormons have over 300,000 people who on a daily basis are adding information onto the internet. So even if you don't find something you know, today, in another month or two, you may actually find it. They've got a huge database, for example, of um, African Americans who were enslaved in the United States and they just released that huge cache of information uh, probably about um, six months ago. So uh, particularly for people, um, as I said, who are Chinese, my family is Hakka and uh, that, that helps a bit if you can narrow down what part of the world your family is in. So for example, the Hakka Chinese um, in the Caribbean. There are about 40 Chinese surnames that are common to the Hakka in the Caribbean. And for example, my, sur my family's surname is Lo. There are only two villages in China where people whose surname is Lo went to Jamaica. So when it was time for me to search, it was one or the other. Clues like that can be very helpful to you when you're f trying to find. But the real hurdle comes for people who have, who are paper sons. That's gonna be very difficult unless somewhere along the way, some family member would have shared your real name and your real story. And, but for many people, they don't have that information. Well, it's very inspiring and um, I appreciate your time. And where can uh, one find your book and, and your documentary? Um, tell us a little bit. Sure, well, thank you. So the book and the documentary are both uh, named, called um, Finding Samuel Lo. Samuel Lo is my grandfather's Western name. His real name was Lo Ting Chao. And it's on Amazon, Vudu, iTunes. Uh, um, it was published by HarperCollins. It's pretty much everywhere. So the film is for sale and for rent online and the book is for sale at an all online and bookstores online booksellers and bookstores everywhere perfect well i appreciate your time and very inspiring story and thank you so much thank you. tiffany young with id8 tv